First at four, breaking news. After 38 years on the bench, Chief Judge Frank Caprio is retiring from the Providence Municipal Court. The 86-year-old judge was propelled to national fame thanks to his TV show, Caught in Providence. But the show also raised questions recently about its ethical implications. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Fish. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado has been tracking this story and joins us now with the latest. Steph, what can you tell us? Right, so Judge Caprio had been hoping to be reappointed to the bench as chief judge of the Providence Municipal Court for a new term, but it was unclear if he had the votes from the newly elected city council, which picks the judges every four, four years. And there were also questions about why his family members were allowed to profit off of the national TV show they produce inside his courtroom without paying the city for the use of the court or its employees. The city council president, Rachel Miller, asked the city's top lawyer earlier this week to review how the show aligned with the city's ethics code, judicial ethics and state ethics. City solicitor Jeff Dana agreed to do that review on Wednesday and today the judge announced he will just retire. Now Caprio did offer to stay on as a volunteer judge. The council will consider giving him the title judge emeritus at their next meeting next week, uh, which would be unpaid. This appears to be a symbolic role. It's unclear how much Caprio would actually take the bench since there will be three official municipal judges appointed by the council next week, including a new chief judge. All right, so Steph, my big question does this mean Cotton Providence is over? Well, I haven't heard back yet from any of the members of the Caprio family, including the judge, as to whether they'll be stopping the production of the show. But I did ask one of the other judges, John Lombardi, who wants to be appointed chief judge, whether he would allow this show to continue. He said he's not interested in that at all, unless the city were to formally authorize it and receive the proceeds from the show. <laughs> that is not the current situation as it stands today. All right, Target 12 investigator Steph Machado, thanks so much for that breaking update. Of course.